What's going on guys? Welcome back to another sneaker shopping vlog here in London, England. We're here in Oxford Street right now and I'm going to take you guys on a little shopping tour. A lot of you guys send me a bunch of suggestions on Instagram of stores to go to, uh, like the New Balance flagship store, the Nike store. We're going to be going to Carnaby Street, which has a bunch of sneaker stores, including Size. There's also a Soho in that area as well, so we might go to End. There's a Babe store. A lot of shopping to get done. Let's start hitting up these shops. Just in case you missed it, we did a couple other sneaker shopping vlogs here in London, England, including ones at Full Locker and JD Sports. And the sneaker selection there is really solid. I highly recommend you guys check out those videos if you missed them. But we're also gonna check out the Adidas flagship store here as well on Oxford Street. This store is huge. Next up, we're gonna check out the Adidas flagship store here in London. And they have a huge, huge store. There's like three floors to it. It's absolutely massive. So let's get inside and hopefully we don't get lost. Here we are inside of the Adidas store, the flagship store in London. And we're gonna go to the bottom floor first, which has a bunch of really cool stuff, including some art displays. They have like a sort of deconstructed ZX8000 shoe. So here's a look at the actual sneaker. And then they had some really cool vintage, like advertising magazine pieces in the cabinet, which was really, really cool to see. Here's a look at the actual sculptures, which they made, which are really, really cool looking. They look a lot, they're like a lion griffin. Like they look really cool. I'm not sure what it is, but you can see the details of the shoe within the piece. And then here's a look at the Y3 section. I highly recommend you check out the Adidas flagship store when you can. And if you're a huge fan of football or soccer, you're definitely gonna wanna check out the previous London vlog because the store was built for you. There's so much to offer. But next up, let's check out the New Balance flagship store just up the street. So right beside the New Balance, there's also a Foot Locker, and I was in the Foot Locker last night, and honestly, the selection was some of the worst I've ever seen, so we're not gonna waste our time here. Check this out. The Microsoft Store has a massive, like, Halo Warthog on display. That's cool. That is so sick. But uh, yeah, the Nike store is right across the street. The Nike store here in London is probably one of the go-to stores you're gonna wanna check out when you show up. They have so much cool things on display, as well as a decent amount of selection when it comes to shopping. Now, when I went, this was during like Air Max month, so they had some cool stuff on display. And also, they have a customization station at the top floor of the store. You're just gonna wanna make sure you go in, uh, not near closing, so you have time to actually customize what you want. But they have a lot of options, a lot of variety. You can customize sneakers like Air Force Ones, but you can also customize things like t-shirts and hoodies. So if you want a little London souvenir, the Nike store is definitely a go-to place to shop at when you're here in London. I never thought I'd see the day a Lacoste and Minecraft collaboration was a thing. Quick little stop before we head to the next sneaker store, we found a McDonald's and I gotta say, the McDonald's here is not the same as it is in Canada or America. What I've found from a lot of the fast food places here is it's a lot more or a lot less saltier, a lot less tasty. Um, so we have some fries right here. We got a junior chicken as well and a Coke. So we're gonna see how this is. And uh, honestly, it makes me miss Canadian fast food a little bit because it's just really bland over here in London. And don't even get me started on all the drinks, all the soda, all the pop here. You have to pay extra if you want pop with actual sugar. So if you want Coke, you're paying like 25 cents extra. And uh, yeah, it's just, it doesn't hit the same. 
It doesn't feel like it's actual McDonald's fries. It's the same texture, it's the same like crispiness, but in terms of flavor, there's like no salt on it. Let's try the junior chicken here. First time having the uh, the junior chicken in a McDonald's. Let's see how it goes. There's like no seasoning. There's like no salt, there's no pepper in this. It's nothing compared to Canadian junior chicken. I miss, I miss Canadian McDonald's. I never thought it would say it. And they don't even have uh, iced coffee here. look at the vape store here in London it was pretty cool they had three floors in total we just went on two and that second floor had the absolute largest selection of sneakers I've ever seen in my life like I've never seen one vape store with that many shoes they had so many collaborations as well the thing is it's definitely on the pricier side if you want vape here they are taxing for that vape at retail now there are some other stores that sell vape here in London there's one popular department store called Selfridges so let's check it out and show you guys what they have There was a look at the babe selection inside of the department store. Next up, we have the off-white section, and they had a bunch of these sort of like Nike Dunk Flow uh, fused with a babe stuff with a patent leather kind of uh, kind of shoes. Really, really interesting. I think Carlo has a couple pairs of these in his collection, and uh, they're just they're they're really strange to me. I don't think I could get behind these shoes. Uh, we also have this typical off-white sneaker. I've seen these a lot over the last couple of years in various colorways. Here's the black version. Selfridges also has a Kith inside, a Kith Treats too, and a store called Offspring, which are gonna sell the typical sneakers like Jordans, Yeezys, and more. Now we're gonna head over to Carnaby Street where they have a ton of the sneaker stores, which is the main point of today's vlog. So let's head over there right now and uh, see what sneakers they have. Oh wait, not, not sneakers, what trainers they have.
So there was your look at the Adidas original store here in London. This one is a concept one, so that's why they had some really cool stuff on display. Next up, we're gonna check out size question mark, another very, very popular sneaker chain here in London. Uh, we have a couple locations in Canada, but honestly, this store has a really, really good selection of things when it comes to sneakers, clothing, and more. On the top floor, you have a ton of Nikes, Adidas, New Balances, but on the bottom floor is where they keep all the streetwear. So depending on what you're looking for, for, maybe you only want to buy a certain kind of thing. That way you can uh, allocate your time accordingly. Now I did have a really horrible shopping experience with the store and I'll get to that later. So my really bad shopping experience with size was at a uh, department store that had a size built into it and they had a lot of selection as well but I ended up getting screwed over by one of the employees. They sold the pair of shoes I was about to buy to another customer. I'll leave that vlog link down below for the full drama but next up let's check out the Puma store and dude this Puma store was probably one of the best Puma stores I've ever been to. Next up, we're gonna check out End Clothing. This is a super, super famous store around the world. They have an amazing selection of things when it comes to streetwear, high fashion, sneakers, things that you can have in your home, as well as some other uh, kind of like self-care items too. So this is probably one of my favorite stores on the entire trip, probably is honestly, and they just have so much selection. It's really well laid out, it's really clean, and the whole, the whole store is just a piece of art. It's a really beautiful store, so I'd highly recommend you check it out. However, the hours for the store are a bit different compared to others, so you're gonna wanna cross this off your list earlier on into your trip, that way you don't miss out. Here's a look at some of the sneakers on their sneaker wall. They have so much selection, as you can tell. This is the Adidas section, and they just have so much stuff, man. So if you couldn't find what you were looking for at the Adidas flagship store or the Adidas original store, and clothing probably has what you're looking for.
besides all the really cool sneakers, they also have a bunch of streetwear, as I mentioned earlier. They got Stussy, they got Pleasures, they got Nike Sportswear, a ton of clothing. Now, the thing is, if you're trying to save some money, this is probably the last place you're gonna save money. A lot of this stuff is gonna be regular price, but the selection will be phenomenal. So if you're gonna be hunting a couple items, new releases, from a clothing line or something like that, definitely the place to go to. But on top of that, they don't just have streetwear, they have a lot of high fashion items too. So depending on your style, you're gonna have at least a couple things you're gonna be able to hunt down in this store. And it gets really, really expensive because they have the really high-end designer stuff here, which is a really nice surprise. Here's a look at some of the other sneakers they have, but from the designer wall, they of course got Dior, the, the Chuck Taylor kind of versions of the Dior sneakers. And then they also have Rick Owens, Y3, and a whole bunch of other stuff too. For more London vlogs, I'll have the playlist linked down below or a pop-up on screen where you can click to watch another London vlog. And if you wanna see maybe Japan or Philippines or Singapore, we have vlogs for those countries on the channel as well. Subscribe for more vlogs like this and click on screen to check out another vlog. I'll see you later. Peace out.